Okay, well, that's a little embarrassing that you would intrude my personal musical dance time. I mean, my brother's personal musical dance time. We have the same outfit. We're twins. That was him. Yeah. Man, Adam here, and I got this really cool LP and number one vinyl record player. This thing is, man, it takes me back. As a child of the 80s, we had at least two record players growing up, tons of records. I remember my dad would get so mad when my sisters would break one of the needles because they just were sloppy and young. And this was just the CDs and tapes were coming out. Tapes are horrible. But vinyl, there's just something great about vinyl and a skipping record. I mean, the sound, the warm sound of a vinyl record. And LP and number one brings it back to you with this. Now, the cool thing about this, I'm just going to throw this out there. It's not just a vinyl player. You can also do Bluetooth through this, through the speakers. So, but who cares? You can do Bluetooth through a bunch of things. This thing is awesome. And as you saw in the warm-up video, you just got a power cord right here and two audio cords that you hook up. Those are component cables, RCA cables, patch cables, bunch of different names, but they're all built into the back of the speakers. These are two speakers, so you can do them on top like this, or you can do them side by side, the record player, depending on what you want to do. One of my favorite things as a kid was to take a 33 and turn it up to 45 or higher, 78 if it did it. This one goes up to 81 RPM, so if you want to have fun with your records and maybe ruin them, then you can do that too. Um, it's got really great sound. Uh, I had played this at Christmas time for my son and his girlfriend, who are both huge Beatles fans and Monkees fans, and they were just standing in the studio singing, and this is going to go to them. So this is going to be a gift for them for being a lover of music. They host a radio show on Thursday nights on 98.5 FM, Marion, Ohio, and uh, One Mind Track. That's Emma Saddam and A.J. Ward. So anyway, but they love music. They've got a ton, ton of vinyl. And this music player, it's got dual bookshelf speakers. You know, it, it's got the, you can move them wherever you want because they're not attached to the unit itself. And the cable, I don't know, maybe three feet, two and a half feet, three feet long. So you can push it around. It's got this solid wood appearance. Uh, I'm not sure how they do that, but who cares? It's this cool black, um, not shiny silver like it was in the 80s uh, with black accoutrements. I do like uh, one thing, uh, a couple things about this. Number one is you can just turn it on and adjust the volume right here. Of course, if you're using Bluetooth, you can use your phone, but you'll miss the, the vinyl. You can just lift the... Needle up like that, stylus, and then when you turn it over, the turntable automatically starts turning. So you don't have to worry about, you know, messing it up. And then when you lower it, it's on this cushioned drop, which honestly, on, on like a warpy, kind of warped record player, can be a little messy. So you may need to push down a little bit to get it started. But uh, yeah, the LMP in number one, this is a great record player to put on your bookshelf, to put on, you know, somewhere at home and just jam some old tunes or some new tunes. There's a lot of records at, at the stores now. Owner manual, owner's manuals right here. Honestly, if you watched what I just uh, made for you, you're not gonna have any trouble using this thing. It labels 13 different uh, things to say, hey, pay attention to this. And I only didn't mention a couple of them. You do have to install this uh, plexiglass piece on it. It just slides on two posts on the hinges. But, I mean, it is literally the easiest thing you've ever put together in your life. And it's a great, just great sound. Easy to use. Easy to move around. LP and number one. Has this nice hand slot on this side. Um, also, it has these two slots. So if the record's sitting on it, you can actually close this over the record. Um, but I use it to open it and then uh, you can leave the record on when you're done if you'd like to keep the dust off of it so you don't get any more scratches. 
and hisses and sparkles and pops, but that's all part of the record listening experience. So if you want to really chill out to some classic music and just enjoy yourself and kind of escape from reality and pick up one of these, you're not going to go wrong.